What is up guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the best settings you guys can use to record your videos using OBS. This is going to be a little bit more of a trimmed down video compared to the ones that I've done in the past. I'm going to run through it fairly quickly. I'm getting a lot of comments lately um, on my streaming settings ones, especially the new one that I did for 2021 asking do I have best settings for recording. That's what this video is going to be. So before we jump into it though guys, let's give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Own.TV. Own.TV is the place to go, guys, if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full-themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alert graphics, don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay such as this Rodan one right here, you can change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you guys are looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. Alright guys, so open up your OBS. I'm going to drag mine over to my main screen and we're going to take a look at this. going to get nice and in front of my screen. Here we go. Alright, we're going to head into the settings section. Like I said, we're going to jump through this really fast. I want it to be a little more slimmed down than the last video. So in the general tab here, nothing that we need to pay attention to except for something super important the theme of your OBS, use dark mode. Thank you very much. Please use dark mode. Next, go to the stream tab here. Nothing in here that we're going to be doing. I stream on Twitch and I have my server auto. Um, but the thing is, we don't need to do anything with this uh, for recording. If you guys need some settings when it comes to streaming settings, I have another video for that. I will actually link it right here at the top of this video and down in the description below. So one important thing we're going to do here is jump to the output tab. When we're in the output tab, change your output mode to advanced. I can't change mine right now because I'm in the middle of recording, so it's grayed out, but we're gonna jump to the recording tab within output. So here is where we're gonna mess with some of our settings. This is the most important part of this video, so pay attention guys, ready. Our recording type is gonna be standard. Your recording path is where your recorded videos are gonna get saved to. I have mine going to my D drive, which is a one terabyte solid state drive. Recording format. Now, this is a tricky one here. A lot of people like to record in FLV uh, because recording in MP4 is, is a bit dodgy. Um, like, let's say I were to get a blue screen of death right now in the middle of recording this, or like my computer crashed or something froze. Um, what happens with an MP4 is that file then becomes basically unrecoverable. Um, so that's kind of something that you want to avoid. I record in MP4 because I never have any issues with it, but you can record in FLV and then edit that FLV in Adobe Premiere or whatever your editing program is. Um, I'm using one audio track because I have just my GoXLR as my one audio device. Everything is being processed through that and it's outputting right here. If you guys can see, if I move this a little bit right here, I just have one audio track. Um, so I'm using one audio track. As for my encoder, I have a GeForce RTX 2070 Super. So I'm using the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 encoder, which is the best encoder to use if you have a 10 series uh, NVIDIA GPU or higher. If you don't, you're most likely going to want to use X264, which is um, encoding that is done with your processor instead of your GPU. It's software encoding. Um, it gives you a lot of good quality. Depending on what you're doing, if you're recording gameplay using X264, you need a really beefy processor. So keep that in mind. Um, you may have to like scale down your videos to like 720, 60 frames, something like that. Uh, rescale output, we're not going to do anything with this at all. Uh, down here, our rate control, we're going to keep that on CBR. I do 1080p at 60 frames per second, so my bit rate that I use is 16,000 right here as you can see that um, if you want to like find a list of like how much how high your bitrate should be depending on the quality of your video it's pretty easy to find if you google it like if you're doing 1080 at 60 frames 16k is the standard for that keyframe interval we want this set to two your preset quality uh, you're only going to see this if you're using the nvenc encoder i have mine set to max quality a lot of my recordings are just my camera um, and my screen being shared i'm not really recording gameplay because this isn't a gaming channel um, um, so if you're doing gaming videos, you're going to have to mess with these settings a little more, maybe drop it down. It depends on the impact 
that that has on your performance in game. Um, if you have it set to max quality and high profile and you're dropping frames in your game, you may want to drop those down a little bit. Um, I use look ahead unchecked and psycho visual tuning. I have that checked GPU set to zero and two max B frames. In the audio tab, uh, for me, this is very simple because I just have my GoXLR processing all my audio. So as you can see here, I just have one audio device and everything else is disabled. If you're not using a GoXLR, you're going to have your microphone enabled here and then your desktop audio enabled here. Um, it's fairly simple to break that down for you guys. Nothing else in here is going to affect your recording, so don't worry about any of that. Next in the video tab, this is also the second most important tab. Your base canvas resolution is what you're gaming at, what your display in is, and what you're viewing it at. Um, so I'm using a 1080p display, so mine's 1920 by 1080. And right here is if you wanted to downscale, if you were playing games in 1080, but you wanted to do your videos in 720 at 60 FPS, let's say that you're, that's what your machine can handle. Um, right here under output scaled resolution is where you would change that resolution to 1280 by 720 to get that 720p. Your downscale filter, I use Lanxos, which is the third filter down. It's the best one you can possibly use. However, if you are having performance issues in game, um, feel free to use the other filters. Hotkeys tab here, um, if you want to set up your keyboard to have hotkeys to perform functions within OBS, you can do that. You can stop, start recording, start streaming, uh, start replay buffers, enable studio mode, transitions, cue transitions, all that kind of stuff. You can set that up with your keyboard hotkeys if you don't have a stream deck. I use a stream deck, so realistically here I don't use any hotkeys. In the advanced tab, I have my OBS process priority set to high just so that my computer dedicates more resources to OBS and you know over everything else. You can keep that on normal. However, if you're having performance issues with OBS, let's say it starts overloading and stuff like that, you're getting encoding errors, you may want to bump that process priority up to high or something more. Uh, video direct, direct 3D 11, color format, I use NV12, color space 709 and my color range is full. Everything else down here, doesn't matter when it comes to recording. This is all for streaming. Realistically, guys, that, that's pretty much it. Those are all the settings you're gonna need to uh, you know, get your recordings looking nice. For me, that's what works. If you have lower spec machines or higher spec machines, uh, you know, obviously feel free to change some of those settings accordingly. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to make it a little bit quicker than my ones that I've done for you guys in the past um, because there's not that much that goes into it. We've done a lot of these type of videos in the past. If you have any questions though, drop them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. If you like this video, hit that like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time that I post a video. And just for the record, guys, our merch shop is finally live on YouTube, so check that stuff out. We got some cool shirts, water bottles, hats, a bunch of cool things on there, so check it out if you want. Um, but anyways, I, I really appreciate all you guys watching my videos. We're growing rapidly. We just hit a subscribers, so thank you guys. But anyways, I want you all to keep those hammers up, and I'll see you next time.